survival moves between life and life and death, or it 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 it's a kind of in between category um, that seems to capture something like bare biological life, um, but also there's a kind of surplus to it, something something more, which is why it can um, also be used as a question of uh, resistance. There's always, there's always a moment of hope or a moment of futurity related to survival that overcomes uh, mere degradation, perhaps. There is a danger to thinking of resistance in merely social political terms. That resistance is, you know, our firm reaction to pushback against the awfulness of the world, you know, the ways in which people are dehumanized, humiliated, exploited, oppressed, um, battered, killed. And the danger with that is having us think that we're just merely political beings and that all of life is politics. The danger in that is thinking that we're the sum total of what happens to us. The danger in that is forgetting humans in their multitudinousness, people capable of laughter and anger, the uh, same people who shout, also hug, uh, people who spit, can kiss. And so joy is absolutely necessary because as an emotion, it grabs on to our recognition, our recognition of our humanness. And often the way we find it in other people's humanness. Survival has obviously been used in a number of different contexts in really important ways um, and has been extremely important for different political movements. One critique that's been offered um, of this though is, is what it means to define humanity through this kind of agency or this question of dignity and whether in that sense it, it rejects um, victimhood or it rejects passivity or vulnerability, that we want to look away from, from those things that don't seem to have a kind of heroism uh, or power within them. And if that means that what we actually perhaps need is a different way of defining what the human is, or we need to think beyond um, simply this regaining of agency and, and think about things like vulnerability, um, shared vulnerability, um, reliance, um, dependence, things like that. When from place to place you're having people degrade, deny, undermine, crush other people's humanity. It's absolutely crucial to have discussions about and to find ways to cultivate that emotion which often springs forth because of the ways in which we look beyond ourselves at other humans, where we find ourselves at other humans. Because the thing with joy is that often joy is an emotion which often comes out of recognition. You see a particular way of interacting in the world and this smile comes because you recognize something of yourself in there, you recognize something of your grandma in there, you recognize something of your old school times in there. It's a way of burrowing down more and recognizing yourself in others. Mm -hmm.